Hey Cancers, welcome back to Star of the Universe Tarot. Um, I kind of hope you like the new setup. I don't think, I don't know if it's permanent or not, but I needed to change something up. The, uh, needed to shift my energy here. Um, Cancer, this is my second time trying to do your reading. Um, the first time, Pisces reading was kind of heavy too. I'm not going to, um, I'm going to say that that probably didn't have some kind of effect here, but definitely, um, there was a lot of anger and a lot of frustration around the first, uh, the first reading that I was trying to do and it just didn't work out. So, <clears throat> Cancer, uh, definitely, um, Look out for that kind of energy, okay? What I'm doing today is your sh um, Noid Shift and Year Ahead reading. Um, if you guys do not follow me on Instagram, feel free to. I go live every Sunday for Week Ahead readings. I also go live for the New Moon and the Full Moon readings, which the Full Moon Encounter is up. If you guys want to go ahead and check that out for some shadow work or just uh, for some general messages. Um, if you guys are looking to book a personal reading, you can do that here through the link tree. Or you can do that through um, the link in the bio on Instagram. Those are always going to be elemental reads. If you're looking for Zodiac specific messages, that will always be here on YouTube. Uh, make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, guys. Especially if the content's relatable, okay? Alright. Oh, yeah. And if you're looking, my, looking for any of my books, you can find them on Lulu or Amazon.com. I am doing almost personal readings over on star fights for the universe once a week shadow work editions using the books okay so i have examples of that here as well as on um instagram if you guys want to go ahead and check that out all right cancer we have do not drink poison do not do things that are bad for you that is so crazy because when i was doing your pre-shuffle for the first reading that this is this is the exact card that actually popped out so you could be dealing with the capricorn here let me see Could be dealing with the Capricorn here, but like I said, like there's definitely something that um, you're indulging in, maybe way too much, that's causing some kind of um, offset or some kind of um, upset in your life right now, Cancer. Um, definitely want to feel. I, I feel like your the wheels in your head are turning profusely, and I feel like it's because you're overthinking here. Like, I, I don't know if you could see the wheel here, but I feel like you're drowning in your emotions here and you're drowning in your own toxicity because you don't realize your worth with you are rare and free. There are not many like you. I feel like this is a this is Pisces energy. If you don't. I had a channeling earlier, Cancer, if you're dealing with some kind of. Either you or the person you're directly dealing with is uh, dealing with some kind of alcoholism or some kind of addiction of some sort. Because the devil card does represent that as well. <clears throat> it's like this person is chasing something at the bottom of this bottle that they don't realize that they have already in front of them. Which is self-love and unconditional love. So this person is looking for validation outside of themselves and that's why they keep on turning back. To, to this addiction. Okay. You have a moment's regret in the reverse. So you have the five of cups in the reverse. You could be dealing with the Scorpio, but you do not regret removing yourself from this situation, Cancer. It's like you tried to give and give to this person way too many times where it wrecked your own ships from coming in, caused some kind of self-sabotage here. I feel like this person has some kind of talisman or some kind of gift that's holding this um, this entity or um, very much close to this person. Like, um, yeah, there's some kind of dark entity attachment here. Um, this person could be su uh, suffering from some kind of depression or uh, some kind of suicidal tendencies, Cancer. And I just feel like. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. There's a lot of Five of Swords energy. A lot of change is on its way. Um, with the Five of Swords and the Five of Cups. Double Fives. 55. Um, you could be dealing with somebody who's 55. But I feel like 55 is going to be an indicator for you. Also, 5 plus 5 is 10. And that's um, that's completion here. 
I'm also feeling like the Ten of Swords energy. You could be dealing with the Gemini, but ultimately, there's something that is coming to a very painful ending, Cancer. Yeah, somebody may... You could be dealing with a fire sign with keep your temper under the deck. Somebody... Uh, a Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries, but somebody doesn't know how to uh, quit while they're ahead. Yeah, with the Nine of Wands here, you could be dealing with the Sagittarius or a Scorpio with the Mortality card in the reverse. This person is just realizing that they're not invincible and they do not like being vulnerable. Um, could be dealing with a... Um, Scorpio again or a fellow cancer but this person has shown you repetitive forms of evidence through the nature of their communication here that they are not taking care of themselves not in the way that they're supposed to and I feel like somebody could be lack I'm hearing lacking in spirituality but I feel like somebody is lacking in spiritual cleanliness here yeah with the with the awakening here I feel like somebody um is just realizing that you cannot play both sides without getting some kind of harsh repercussion. Like I said, somebody's very vulnerable right now because they couldn't take the rejection from the past. They can't step into their own their own power here to see how truly beautiful or how truly gifted they they truly are. Yeah, because this person was in, instead of um, trusting their intuition and letting go, they fell back into these toxicities and they fell back into this devil energy. Once again, you could be dealing with a, you could be dealing with a, um, <coughs> you could be dealing with the Capricorn or you could be dealing with the water sign because I'm getting three of cups energy with the trust and digital um, right now. I don't always get that feeling, but I do right now. So it could, this could just be your energy. Um, cancer, but I feel like your intuition led you away from this person at the nick of time because this person is really suffering through their addiction. Yeah, and with the Pleiades energy under the deck, it's like you're channeling and uplifting humanity at the same time. By doing that, you're actually showing that there is something valuable not only in yourself, but you're trying to show this person their value equally by setting um, up these healthy boundaries here. Oh, let me see what's on the top of the deck. I didn't want to come out. Oh, yeah. Okay, this person may have some some mommy issues here with star mother. How can you mother yourself? You know how to be alone. Hermit energy. You could be dealing with the Virgo. but Or you could have some Virgo placements, Cancer. But you know how to be by yourself and you like to be by yourself. You're actually um, enjoying the freedom of whatever ending this is. And the truth is that the vulnerability that this person is showing is kind of late in the game. You get me? It's like this person tried to act like they were strong the entire time. And with Answer the Call, they, they were show, well, trying to portray that they were on this spiritual journey. But the truth is that now with the Nine of Wands here, it's always tea time. They're, it's it's very much um, evident that this person is drowning in... Um, I'm hearing in um, in their own reality. So this person may have some kind of um, some kind of delusion going on here because of the because of the um, addiction, especially if there's alcohol or drugs involved. Whether that's soft, hard, it, a prescription, it doesn't matter. Um, there could be a cocktail of drugs being used, but the, at the end of the day, it's 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 meant to suppress this anger but what it does is it enhances it instead and i feel like this person may have lost um a few uh, i feel like this person may have lost a contract here this person may be losing some kind of support system but th this person is is extra vulnerable now it could be that you were this person's support system cancer and now that you've um uh, you know, created this healthy boundary and left this person in the dust. It's like this person can't control their anger now. They can't sit still. It's like there's nothing that they can do but sit with their own, like wallow in their own regret. <clears throat> you have soul family here. You could be dealing with a Gemini. But I feel like it's like too many times have th has this person continued to play the victim here with unbound yourself. It's like... You wanted so hard to help this person, 
But now that this person has shown you they're not trying to help themselves and you already know that you're a leader here with you've been training for this for lifetimes, like you had to let this person go. And I feel like this person is not going to like that you're about to outshine them, Cancer. But at the end of the day, it's like, well, <clears throat> I choose myself first. I'm not going to choose to entertain these toxic behaviors. Yeah, but this person's going to continue to to come back to you for for reunion here, which I felt that three of cups energy in the beginning cancer. Maybe you continue to allow this person to reunite with you um against your your better judgment here with the intuition card. You know this person's a thief. They're they're I feel like they're meant to they're sent here to dim your light, Cancer. Yeah, and this is the tower moment here. It could be an Aries, a Taurus, or um or a Scorpio. But at the end of the day, it's like <clears throat> their misfortune is no challenge to you with the with Star Mother here. You've you've done that all before. You've been um, public enemy number one and you've actually were able to um, survive it yeah with the joyfulness card here you were still able to live your best life happily now it's this person's turn because they really don't understand how much um, wounding I feel like they have it, once again this this mother issue um, but this person is deeply tied into um, some type of karmic relationship that they can't really get out of for whatever reason. Yeah, and you love this person. There's a lot of love here. The problem is that you don't trust them. And because you don't trust them, there there has to be space here. There has to be this separation. Um, somebody might be losing um, a loved one. At the end of the year, Cancer, either you or the person you're directly dealing with. There could be somebody who's losing a mother. There could be somebody that loses a child. But I feel like, yeah, with the morning card under the deck. I feel like, yeah, somebody, there, there's going to be a funeral, uh, definitely, that it's a, that's attended to at the end of the year, Cancer. But um, just understand that your peace, your serenity, and your love for self is what's going to get you through this situation and away from these people. And I feel like in safe hands. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Let me get you... Work your light oracle. Yeah. Ultimately, don't dim your light to fit in. This person has been trying to do this time and time and again. Once again, you could be dealing with a fellow cancer. But there's transformation trying to happen here. And it's mostly through you. Um, you could be dealing with the Scorpio. But with creating heaven on earth, it's happening. Just know that your integration is happening now. You um, dissolving these cords with this person is happening now. And it's all in divine timing and it was meant to happen this way because at the end of this year when this um, when this gathering happens um, for this funeral, you were able to, to show that you had foresight and you were able to, I feel like, um, maneuver away from whatever tragedy was going to happen here. You could be dealing with the Gemini. But it was divine orchestration for you to miss whatever drama or whatever um, it was exactly here, Cancer, that created such turmoil in other people's lives that you just happened to miss an on a will of fortune moment. You could be dealing with the Leo. Okay, that's what I have for you guys. I hope this helped. Bye.